reading, don't leave it for last. Summer reading, I need it to pass. I found a book so perfect for me. All these chapters are such a good read. Summer reading, just do it okay. So you won't regret it one day. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, uh huh. Tell me more, tell me more, how many books can you read? Tell me more, tell me more, will this be on the cities? Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh, do it. Summer reading, ain't hard as it looks. Summer reading, open a book. The only thing that you must do, two, three assignments. You gotta choose. Summer reading will increase your grade. If you don't, teachers will throw you shade. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Tell me more, tell me more. How many books can you read? Tell me more, tell me more. I can't read out of 23. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Summer reading may seem like a jack. Summer vacation finished so fast. But suddenly, I feel so relieved. Look all the work that I just achieved. Summer reading, just do it okay. So you won't regret it one day. Tell me more, tell me more. How many books can you read? Tell me more, tell me more. I can you ice cream. Can we? Can we? Can we? Can we? Summer reading, my teachers are proud. Summer reading, feeling light as a cloud. I can't wait to read more next year. We'll have the grades all through the year. Summer reading, just do it okay. So you won't regret it one day. Bum, 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 bum. Tell me more, tell me more. How many books can you read? Tell me more, tell me more. I can't read from Mr. C. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh yes, oh yes. <laughs> Summer reading, sounds coming to an end. Summer reading, hope you listen, my friend. Reading and learning, so good, can't you see? Just nod your head, smile and agree. Summer reading, just do it okay. Congratulations, another school year has come and gone. I hope you had a great year. Summer vacation is around the corner and that brings us to our 2018 summer reading requirements. All WPS students in grades 9 through 12 are required to read any three books of their choice or a total of 800 pages. Along with this, students are to do three assignments of their choice as well. Summer reading is worth 10% of your first quarter grade, so make every effort to reach this goal. Try reading 20 minutes a day to succeed in this goal. Not sure what to read this summer? Check out our summer reading webpage at bit.ly backslash burncoat library. You'll find this video and other book recommendations along with ideas to do for the three assignments. Check it out. Alexander Supertramp, on a voyage of self-discovery or self-destruction, a tragic hero or a damn fool, you decide. This is Huckleberry Finn by Mark Twain, and it's a story of a kid named Huck who, as he grows up and goes on this amazing journey, and it's a book that we primarily know as being a story that we learn about in school and a lot of times that turns people off from reading it but when i read it i found that i completely fell in love with the characters and their relationship and the beautiful way that they develop throughout the story and learn lessons and on top of that it's hilarious to read and you'll like it if you like classics or if you just like books about children or growing up and it, it's just 
an amazing book. Hi everyone, the book that I would suggest everyone read this summer is A Dog's Purpose. It is about dogs, but it's also about um, how every creature on earth has a purpose and how um, we can learn our purpose from things that are not just humans and human interactions. So I really enjoy this book and I hope everyone gets the opportunity to read it. Hello, my name is Kristen Daly. I've read all the books in the series and I believe that this book is very helpful to all students regardless of if you want to do criminal justice or anything for your major because it's a series of great jobs for so many majors and I believe if you read any one of these kinds of books you're gonna get something. <laughs> You're gonna get some help out of it. <laughs> hey everyone! The book that I chose for my summer reading book is Outliers by Malcolm Gladwell. It's about how really successful people like the Beatles and Bill Gates became so successful and how we can become successful too. So I thought it was a really, really good book. So I hope you do too. Um, my name is Aisha and I will recommend this book called Undertow. It's the first book of Undertow the Trilogy. This book is about um, Lyric Walker, a 16-year-old girl who lives in New York. Um, her life just changed dramatically when the first arrival of Alpha Man is an ocean dwelling creature. And the ironically uh, in this story is she's also half Alpha, but she never noticed until the arrival of this here creature. Her mom is... Um, an alpha tribe called Serena is a very beautiful like mermaid and they're very strong in power so from there where his, her story started where she um, fell in love with the prince of the alpha now um, named Phantom and her journey to help the humankind like um, there's a big danger in the future that she have to protect all of them this book is basically about a very strong protagonist female protagonist so if you like those type of story, you should read this. Hi, my name is Sophia, and I chose to read this book called Go Ask Alice. It's an anonymous book. It's in diary form. It's nonfiction, and it's a really good book because it like will bring you into like an emotional roller coaster, and it's so sad. But it like I suggest you read till the end because then you just it's just an awesome end, and you will never be able to forget Go Ask Alice. The book I'm recommending for summer reading is called Flatland, a romance of many dimensions. It was written by Edwin Abbott in 1884 was it, when it was first published. Uh, many editions and actually movies have been made from it since. The reason I'm recommending it is I've read it several times. I think the first time was in the 80s. Uh, this is quite an old edition I have in my hand. And it's not just about uh, geometry. Yes, um, it's narrated by the character called A Square, and it's really a comment on Victorian society and its caste system. Men are portrayed in the book as polygons, and your social status is based on the number of sides you have. The greater the number of sides, the higher your social status. A circle is considered a perfect shape. Women, on the other hand, are straight lines. And I'm gonna read a short ex excerpt from it, page 18, um, that kind of illustrates this. So, uh, if you'll bear with me. To my readers in Spaceland, the condition of our women may seem truly deplorable, and so indeed it is. A male of the lowest type of the isosceles may look forward to some improvement of his angle and to the ultimate elevation of the whole of his degraded caste, but no woman can entertain such hopes for her sex. Once a woman, always a woman, is a decree of nature. So um, it really has many dimensions to this short novel, and I do recommend it. Have a good summer. Actually, I'd like to talk quickly about the book called The Notorious Benedict Arnold by Steve Schenken. Um, it's actually, despite how it looks as like a history novel, it's actually um, really nice because it gives you uh, a better understanding of Benedict Arnold besides the view you get in the history book, and you actually get to really see how his loyalty to his country um, is changed by betrayal and anger. And so he goes to the British side, and it's just really interesting to see how it flowed for, from a different point of view. Oh. I'm going to suggest 
probably my favorite book of all time, which is a collection of short stories by J.D. Salinger. It's called Nine Stories. They're really dark. They turn places you wouldn't expect. They're realistic. Um, and they will make you feel all sorts of different emotions in all over the place. But they're nice. It's only, there's nine of them, so they're not too long. So you can read them in little segments. You don't have to read them all at once. They're not really even connected. So, but this is what I would suggest you read this. <laughs> oh, I didn't see you there. Um, the book that I have here is called The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas. It's a really good book that confronts discrimination, prejudice, and like stereotypes that go on in today's society. It's a really good book if um, you just want something to read, like maybe for like two days or a week, or if you just have the time. And I really enjoy it, and you would too. I recommend the book A Man Called Uva by Frederick Bachman. It is about an old man who seems cranky at first, but turns out to have a really big heart. And it's a sweet tale of him living with all his neighbors and interacting with them and helping them out. I recommend the Animal Farm because it's, uh, it's short, that's for one. And uh, it's interesting because a bunch of animals take over the farm and you get to see what animals think like. This is Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell, and um, it's basically a book about identical twins, and um, the other girl just wants to go off and just have a um, party and whatever, and then um, the main character, her name is Kat, and basically she spends her whole entire time just writing fan fiction about um, Harry Potter, and like, yeah, it's really good. Read it. Yay. Hey guys, I want to recommend two books. The first one is called The Disappearing Spoon. It's a story, or actually sort of a collection of stories, about different elements and how they were discovered and things they were used for. And so if you're looking for a little more of the sort of story of how we learn some of the things that we've learned about chemistry, that's a great read. The second book that I want to recommend is called The Last Train to Istanbul. I like this story because it gave me a sort of new perspective on World War II, which is something that I've seen tons of movies and read other books about, but I hadn't ever read anything that was written from the perspective of a country that wasn't involved, and that had to work really hard to stay uninvolved, and how that worked out for the people that lived there, and people who were in other places in Europe who were from there. So, those are my recommendations. Um, I'm recommending you the Heroes of Olympus series, you know, it's great action-packed, you know, I think you'll love it. Um, you know, it's about me, uh, Greek mythology and, you know, a bunch of romance and stuff like that. So check out the first book. Alright. Well, that's it everyone. Have a safe and relaxing summer. Don't forget your summer reading. Three books are 800 pages, along with any three assignments of your choice. Check out all of this information and more at bit.ly backslash burncoat library. Also check out Worcester Public Library for giveaways and free events at mywpl.org. Have a great summer.
teachers are proud. Some are really feeling light as a cloud. I can't wait to read more next year. We'll have good grades all through the year. Some are reading, just do it okay. So you won't regret it one day. Bum, 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 bum. Tell me more, tell me more, how many books can you read? Tell me more, tell me more, can we move this to see? Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. Can't you see?